Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am privileged to be joined today on the summit by the head baseball coach from Concordia Ann Arbor, whose Cardinals just won the NCCAA Baseball National Championship, Coach Zach Johnston. Coach, you come away with a 13-3 victory over the University of Fort Lauderdale in the championship game. I want to talk about the week, but first, congratulations on winning the national title. Joey, thank you very much. Uh, you know, the greats say you're speechless. You don't really know what to say. And I'm still lost for words. Uh, it, And I know this is our second national championship. And in essence, three years since COVID year took out 2020. Um, and I'm still, I, I, besides saying thank you and how much I appreciate it, I, I, I don't have many other words to justify how I'm feeling. I'm sure it will continue to sink in as the course of the summer rolls on and, and you, you know, have a little bit of time off, hopefully, before you start working on next season. But to to look back on this season, 41 and 21 overall, second most wins in program history, and really the big deal. You won seven of your last eight and and you win in the final game of the season. That's the the important one there. But it was a good year. It, it was. It was a phenomenal year, a special team. Um, very, very similar to our 2019 team in so many ways. Um and, and it was a it was a a very, very uh, rewarding year in, in, in a lot of different ways. Our leadership was phenomenal. Uh, our team chemistry was through the roof. I mean, just the, the little things that, uh, you know, you can't always get uh, in baseball without, you know, uh, doing some of the behind the scenes work. Uh, you can practice so much. I mean, you can have a lot of talent on the field. In, in professional baseball, you can buy a bunch of talent. Um, but that doesn't always equivalent to, a ton of wins or, or maybe it gets you a number of wins on the field, but won't get you that title. And we did a lot of those things very, very well this year. And that's why it was so rewarding, so special. And um, it, it was a great year. Those are the fun things to get to hear about too, coach. I, I appreciate you sharing that championship day. You had to win two games because yeah. you had a, a loss a little bit earlier in the tournament. You, you lose to the university of Northwestern, which by the way, you come back in and beat Northwestern as game one, a six to one yep. victory over Northwestern. And, and in that contest, Tyson Kleinfelter got the start for you. He's the all time strikeout leader in Cardinal history. Now more than 200 strikeouts in his career. And yep. so it had to be good for you coming in, but not only does he get the start, he goes the complete game for you, able to he pick did. up 13 more strikeouts in the win. Talk about his performance and how big it is to have someone go a complete game in a tournament setting like this when you need all the arms you can get? Well, it was huge. And a couple of things led led up to that. Uh, and again, I'm a big believer. Everything happens for a reason. So Tyson actually started the game. We lost to Northwestern um, and had to get pulled after the first inning. Uh, and it didn't even complete the first inning. Um, and it was something to do, a back spasm, a little rib problem. He just wasn't himself and he could feel it right away. Um, but if he doesn't, if, if he tries to battle through that, or if, uh, if we leave him in there and I mean, he just wouldn't bounce back. He wouldn't have been in that position that we had him in to, to beat Northwestern the second time around. And they were a very, very good team. Very, very good. They won their conference up in Minnesota. And I mean, they were, they had, they had a complete package when it, when it comes to, from a competitor standpoint. Um, so again, everything in life happens for a reason. Tyson started against them. Got pulled at the first inning. He actually came in in relief for us uh, for one out, a big one out uh, in an elimination games against Kansas Christian uh, with bases loaded on the line. Um, and, and it was a huge one out. Got a fly out there, and we knew we were going to bring him back the next day. And and he felt good enough to do it, and, and he gave it everything he had. He was very, very sore for the days to come, um, but he, he did exactly what we needed to get us to the title game. Um, and our offense did just enough that game. And, um, yeah, the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> I do want to talk about that offense here in just a moment because it did it did come up big. We're here on Midwest Sports Net. Thank you for watching today. And we're privileged to be joined by Coach Zach Johnston from Concordia Ann Arbor. And, Coach, you know, you did. You had some arms left for the championship game, and that really was a big deal. And that includes Timothy Pomaville, who comes in in the third inning, got seven complete innings pitched, struck out 13 batters along the way as well in the championship win, the 13-3 victory over Fort Lauderdale. And he picks up his 10th one of the season. 10 and 0 was his season. What a, a fantastic year for him as well. But I mean, that has to be a big thing to have him to be able to come in in relief in the third and take it home. 
Oh, huge. Uh, and, he, and he played that role long relief for us all year long. Um, and it kind of set him set him up for that, for that big time situation. Uh, and he, he said he had his best year by far. Tyson, on the other hand, uh, going back to him, he was our dominant ace last year. I mean, just dominant all year long. This year he was up and down. Tim kind of held those reins for us in long relief. Um, he held down the floor and, and kind of has been our best year all year long our best arm all year long. And when both were going, I mean, you saw what we could do, Uh, you know, Tyson going the complete game in day one or game one of the day. And then Tim coming in relief after the second inning, seven innings strong, no hit ball. Uh, I think he gave up four walks, 13 Ks. I mean, he, he was spectacular. Both were elite on that day. Elite. And how, how awesome is that to have players do that when the lights are on in a situation yeah. like that? I mean, that those are things that I know you and they will all remember forever uh, with this championship team. Coach, going back then to the, the, the Northwestern game, you were talking about the offense, and realistically, you had to manufacture runs in that yeah. game. I mean, no extra base hits. By the way, for either team, all yeah. day long. And Aaron West in the third inning gets a two RBI single, which winds up proving to be the, the, the game-winning hit, the game-winning runs there coming away with that as well. He was a first-team All-American for the NCCAA this year, and, and he had a big performance for you in that win to get to the title game. Yeah, West was a catalyst for us all year long. He went through what he says is his longest slump of his, of his career um, towards the back end of the season. Um, but come the World Series, I mean, he was spot on. I think he hit above 570, something like this. Ridiculous numbers for the tournament. Um, and he was phenomenal. Clutch, uh, held down the floor at third base all year long for us. Um, you know, he played a DH role when he had a little bit of arm trouble in the middle of the season. And that kind of when it, the slump started, started happening. Uh, but he was above 400 a majority of the year until the slump. Uh, and when I say slump, it's not a – <laughs> it's not a normal slump like you and I would face. It was just not what he was accustomed to. Um, and But he picked it right back up in World Series when we needed him the most. And he was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, all tournament long. I mean, it, how, the you know, at the end of the day, between Hebner and, and Wes, Hebner winning the MVP and Wes first team all tournament, I, I have no idea how you choose between the both of them because they were, they were great. Uh, and then on top of that, with, Palmerville and, and Kleinfeld are still in the mix as well. I mean, we had we had a number of guys step up, and and to be honest, those four names aren't the only ones. And, right. and our dugout was phenomenal. Our dugout was by far the best I've ever seen in my eight year career. Um, I mean, they were just and they were on our team. They were very uh, enthusiastic, energetic. I mean, there were so many things that clicked for us, and that's what it takes. And and I talked about that leading up to the tournament. We had been there this past year being our fourth year now um we knew what it took to win and and they listened and followed through so and it sounds like that and you're exactly right coach i know i'm 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 throwing out a few names here but uh there, there's a roster i'm sure that, that you could just go down and talk about each one of them uh and and the performance and the and the work and the and the effort that's been given over the course of the, the last week that you all spent in kansas city for the nccaa world series and coach you mentioned hebner as well kyle hebner the tournament mvp and his numbers again similar to what west numbers from i have him 11 for 23 over the course of your six games in kansas city that includes 10 RBI pair of home runs as well uh, for a red shirt freshman he really seemed to step it up as the season went on and, and obviously culminating in, in a big time uh, effort for you over those six games huge huge uh we call him heavy um heavy and believe it or not heavy and west are both red shirt freshmen so we we could have both of them for another three years which is exciting in itself uh <laughs> but yeah heavy heavy at the end of the year did what we thought he would all year long. Now, what was a little bit of a predicament with heavy is he's also a hockey player here at the university. Um, Now moving forward, we'll see what happens with that. But um, he, (laughs) him being a young guy, uh, we, we allowed to, you know, and and at the end of the day, you know, at a university of this size, there are dual athletes, not many of them, but there are dual athletes. And, but eventually, you know, they kind of sway towards one sport or the other. And, and in the fall, Heavy was untouchable. I, I mean, we couldn't get him out. Our pitchers couldn't get him out. Um, and it, it, that that excitement and just the shape he came in in 
Uh, I mean, his hard work had finally started paying off for him being so young. And we thought he was going to do that for all year long for us. But then come hockey season, he got hurt uh, and had an injury that kind of set him back early on in the year. And he just struggled. And, it, and you could see you could see it. he just wasn't the same. And then slowly but surely he started getting healthy again. And you started to see the, the swing come alive. And sure enough, come World Series, there he is. And it was big hit after big hit. And similar to Wes, Wes was more of our – uh guy that was consistent heavy was clutch heavy when i seemed to always come up when we needed something to happen and sure enough he made it happen <laughs> well coach that that though again those are the fun things to hear about especially with the championship season i really appreciate your time today and i i, I think it warrants mention too what what you've done at the program that that you also played at i mean the the record book for uh ann arbor has your name all over it, but it's not just with the wins, which by the way, you crossed the 250 win plateau this season up to 262 wins with the program now, but also as your time as a player, I mean, you see Zach Johnston throughout that record book as well. Talk about what it means to you then to get to, to lead a program that you were at and, and really, I, I know you said you're still letting it sink in, but it, it has to mean something. It, it does. This is my alma mater and I, you know, I'm a Cardinal for life, no matter what happens from here on out kind of deal. Um, in, in the record book, you know, I, I did have a great career, but I owe a lot to my teammates. Um, I played with my brother Zane. Uh, I owe a lot to him. Uh, I owe a lot to my coaches and, and, and my father was my coach for so many years and my high school coach. I mean, there's, there's so many people on the way that, you know, I did have a great career, but at the end of the day, they deserve just as much credit because I wouldn't be who I am without any of them uh, and my my teammates who who pushed me, et cetera. And, and when we played here, we you know we were average, you know, for the most part. Um, but what thrills me now, and similar to being a father, I have two kids and a third on the way, um, and to see my guys surpass me in those things, I mean, that means more to me than what what I did. Um, and you know, I'm not a very emotional guy, but both times we won it now, I, the guys have seen the emotions come out of me and, and, and I explained that to them actually on this trip before we won it, uh, that in 2019, that when I experienced that, it's, it's the thrill for them. It's, it's seeing all their hard work, all the stuff I put them through, cause I put them through quite a bit, um, <laughs> pay off and yeah. to see them be rewarded for it and, and stuff come together. I mean, that, that means more you know, than, than records or anything like that. But uh, I, I love that my guys are now, like when I look at the record books, if I look at them, I see my guys, the guys that I've coached, like just name after name after name. And, and, you know, seeing my name go lower and lower on the list, I, I mean, <laughs> that, that excites me more. And, and even, you know, 262 wins or whatever it is now, they did that. I, at the end, of, I didn't win a single game. You know, I, I just show them the way and I am consistent in telling them that, that that's what my job is. I, I'm going to help show you the way I need you to listen. I need you to see the importance of the things that I'm saying, but you guys are going to do it. Um, that, that 262 wins, that's all those guys I coached and, and the current ones. So uh, they deserve that credit. Well, congratulations to them, and congratulations to you also. And by the way, congratulations on the growth of your family, too. That, you. those, those are the fun things. Those ultimately are the, the most important things as well. But uh, you have a great program, Coach. Uh, another national championship, to your credit. Realistically, second in three years with, with the COVID year notwithstanding. Yep. Congratulations to the Cardinals, to all of your players, and to your program. And, and thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. We appreciate that. We look forward to following you more in the future. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate it. Anytime. I, this, is, this is the fun stuff, so I appreciate it.